now to Ukraine and some dramatic new images as Dutch officials finally start removing the debris of Malaysia Airlines Flight 17. And then we're just getting in this new video that purports to show the immediate aftermath of the crash last July. This is amateur video obtained by a Russian tabloid. All 298 people on board were killed when the plane was shot down. CNN's Phil Black joins us now on the phone. Uh, Phil, you covered the story as it broke in July. Uh, hard to get access to the area with pro-Russian separatists controlling the site. So why now are we seeing this new video? Uh, and again, it is still being disputed exactly who shot down that flight. So Phil from um, Sloviansk. Yeah, it is extraordinary that these pictures have not come to light before now. As you say, almost four months after the accident, they are so dramatic, they do appear to show uh, the inferno that was caused by the impact of the largest piece of the wreckage. Remember, when MH17 broke up in the sky, it was scattered over an incredibly wide area. From my time at the site, looking at that video, it's pretty clear that what you're seeing there is the biggest piece to hit the Earth, uh, really the center piece, really the bulk of economy class on MH17, including the wings, the engines, the landing gear. Having seen that particular area after the flames had obviously died down, I'd only really had a sense before of just how big that inferno was, but you can really see there from the smoke, from the heat, from the panic and the confusion of the people who were living just nearby and were missed, were, were so lucky uh, not to have been impacted more directly. Um, so really quite extraordinary pictures there of a very significant part of the aircraft. And coincidentally, you mentioned that the wreckage from the aircraft is being collected today. It is to be shipped back to the Netherlands for the purposes of the investigation. The section that they were actually collecting today is from that area there that you are witnessing burning on that tape uh, as it took place around four months ago, Frederick. Oh my gosh, and Phil, as we look at this extraordinary amateur video, it's still unclear uh, where this video comes from, but you can see in this area that is residential, however, it does seem rural or maybe even like farmland, maybe you can best describe this area for us, but you see people who are trying to assist, not only are they stunned, as you described, but it, it appeared as though there were some people who were running with buckets of maybe water there, just trying to assist. Yeah, it is certainly rural farmland uh, with a few villages here and there. And what is right next to that very significant area of the crash site is a very small village. So I say, they, they, they were missed narrowly. We've spoken uh, in the days after the crash to a lot of people who are in that village and who actually witness what we are now able to see uh, ourselves, as did a lot of journalists who moved through there. Remember, this was a huge international story. So it would be logical to presume, I think, that one of the residents of that village shot this tape, or someone who was certainly in that village at the time. Why has it come to light now? Well, as we've been talking about, they have, there is an operation going on at the crash site to collect the debris, the main pieces of it, to ship back to the Netherlands for the investigation. It's attracting media attention again. There are journalists on the ground there today. It is possible that just perhaps one of them, and it is speculation, spoke to someone who hadn't been spoken to before and has led to uh, this video being uncovered and, and now distributed online and, and shown around the world. Amazing stuff. Phil Black, thank you so much for your reporting.